Visual trails or tracers are a great way to visualize the patterns that we create as we spin our poi. They're beautiful, dynamic, and more than anything else, they help to clarify the patterns that we see in our heads. Drex here from Drex Factor Poi, sharing with you the love of poi spinning and flow arts to benefit your body and brain. And today, I want to count down my top five favorite tricks that look great with post-production trails on them. But before we dive in, I do just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk. Fire Mecca, Flow Fests, Flow Toys, Juggling Calling, Pyroterra Light Toys, Spin Malls, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all of these awesome companies and the work that they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I have down in the description of this video. And special thanks to the non-business friends of the channel, Lay Machinsky and Becca Bekonen. Thank you both so much for supporting my channel, my work, and my mission. So I very regularly post videos that include a little bit of post-production magic to add trails to my poi as they spin around. I've done a video on the techniques that I use for this that I will go ahead and link to down in the description, but people really, really dig this and it's easy to understand why. And well, I got a request to do more videos that feature these kinds of trails. And as I was racking my brains trying to think of another trick that would also benefit from it, I realized, wait a second, there's a ton of tricks that look great with them. Why not just put them all into the same video? So I do actually just want to include a quick note here because I think that the process of selecting these tricks is actually way harder than people might think it is. There are plenty of poi tricks that we think of in terms of the patterns that they produce, but some of them require so long to produce that pattern that there's no amount of long exposure photography or post-production trails you can do in a video editor that will make that pattern clear. In addition, there are some poi tricks that are absolutely beloved, but when you look at them from the perspective of creating these trails, they just look like gibberish. So whittling down to poi tricks that are simple enough that they can actually register with the audience, but still complex enough that they look really cool, it's actually more challenging than you might think. So here we go, my top five picks for my favorite poi tricks that I think really benefit from having those post-production trails on them. Number one, C caps. Yeah, I know this is kind of a gimme because the video that inspired me to go down this path was one on C caps, but hey, it's because they work really well in this way. I don't think it's any coincidence that the framework around caps was developed right around the time when tech poi spinners were going really, really hard on classifying different poi patterns and the tricks around them. In particular, C caps represent this great tipping point between being just complex enough for people to geek out on, while also just simple enough that they read very, very cleanly to an audience. And of course, I've done some pretty extensive work on this channel, cataloging and categorizing all the different versions of caps out there. Uh, one video in particular that hits, I think, pretty much all the major bullet points. I'll go ahead and link to that down in the description as well as up there in the cards if you're watching on YouTube. Trick number two, anti-spin flowers in split time same direction. So it just has to be said that anti-spin flowers in general are kind of a perfect fit for any kind of video or photography devices that leave those long trails behind. The petals that we get with anti-spin flowers, that kind of long, narrow form that they have, just Mm, there's something about it that's so pleasing to the eye. And performing them in split time same direction, I would argue, is probably the best version of this trick. Not only are they being performed in such a way that you always have this very even and symmetrical feel with the flowers, but they also lack the problems that you tend to have with together opposite or split time opposite flowers, where part of the image is just slightly offset from the rest of it. This just feels nice and balanced and super satisfying. I'm pretty sure it was surreal back back in the day who classified different timing and directions in terms of the visual picture that they create for the audience. And when it comes to anti-spin flowers, having a central point of balance that the flowers happen around is just kind of perfect for creating a visual effect for the audience. Bonus points, of course, if you do the version of this that involves spinning this flower super duper fast. So fast, in fact, that people might not even need post-production effects to see the trails at all. And then, out of nowhere, stop and reverse directions. I have seen both Yuda and Mel pull this out in performances to incredibly dramatic effect. Love it. Number three, the Triketra versus Static Spin Anti-Brid. 
yeah, it's it's me. So you just had to know that there was going to be at least one anti-Brit on this list, right? So this is a trick that, in my mind, positively begs for the trails treatment. Not only is it one of those tricks that requires you to go just a little bit faster than your comfort zone in order to keep it together, but also, too, it just feels so balanced and satisfying seeing these two shapes emerge together. I honestly think that this is the most photogenic of all of the anti-Brids. Not only does it have a good balance between complexity and simplicity, but also, too, it looks really cool to perform whether you see the trails or not. Trick number four, the toroid anti-bend pentagram, or just toroid pentagram. And yes, it's me, so this list was going to have a toroid on it as well, so sue me. But legit, this one looks really cool. So I actually first saw this being performed with a set of sock poi, and I just did not get it at all. It looked to me as though somebody was going back and forth between a two-beat weave and a corkscrew, and I just did not understand for the life of me why that would be so interesting. And then the first time I saw it with long exposure photography, all of a sudden, it clicked for me. Most poi tricks, we are working with curves and trying to put together very, very specific patterns that will work with those curves, regardless of how straight the hand path between different parts of it is. With toroids, on the other hand, we actually get to play with straight lines as we're bending the poi back and forth. And there's no shortage of really awesome and eye-catching polygons that are only possible if we can move the poi back and forth in a straight line. Toroids are a great fit for this, and the pentagram in particular is something that is both simple enough that you can pull it off relatively easily, as well as complex enough that it's kind of unexpected and cool. This is also one of those tricks that definitely benefits from performing it a little little bit faster than you normally might, which can make the planes just a little bit sketchy. But if you can find that balance point, oh, it's so worth it. I'm not going to lie, this one has shown up in my holiday cards for years now and probably will continue to for many, many years to come. Here's to this toroid. All right, so before I share with you my number one pick, I have a quick favor to ask. If you've come this far in the video, it probably means that you're into poi tricks, and if that's the case, I make lots of videos on those. Please subscribe to my channel and leave this video a like so you can help the channel out as well as know when I've uploaded my latest video. And now my number one pick for my favorite trick that benefits from having these long exposure trails or post-production work done on them, Number one, the Mercedes. Yeah, come on, y'all had to know that this was coming, right? I can remember a time when absolutely everybody I knew in the poi world had a long exposure photograph of this poi trick as their headshot. It actually kind of made things difficult at fire festivals because people would introduce themselves to me and I would have to puzzle out who the heck they were because they didn't really look like a Mercedes. I mean, all the pieces are really there. Among poi hybrids, this is one of the easier ones to produce. You have the tension between the extension on the outside and the anti-spin flower in the middle. And of course, it resembles something that we are already familiar with. The Mercedes, of course, where it gets its name from. So yeah, you kind of can't beat it. Even better, the Mercedes combines together with another item on our list, that is C-caps, to create a really eye-catching combo that was one of my first and very favorite ways to break apart two different tech poi tricks in my first couple years of spinning. And that's why it's my pick for my favorite poi trick that benefits from long exposure photography or from post-production trails. But how about you out there? What are your favorite poi tricks with those long trails attached to them? Was there something that should have been on my list and wasn't? Was there something that did make my list that you think, eh, maybe that wasn't such a great pick? Leave, leave me your comments and let me know. This video would not be possible were it not for the kind support of all of these awesome people right here. These are my Flow patrons over on Patreon. They and the people listed down in the description help to make this video and all the videos on this channel possible. Thank you one and all for your very generous support. And if you out there watching want to become supporters but you're not currently, here's how you can do that. Head on over to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and sign up. I'll leave a link to it down in the description as well as up in the cards if you are watching on YouTube. There you can get access to a whole host of awesome rewards, and even better, you'll be helping me out in my mission to bring poi spinning and flow arts to the whole wide world and help people connect with their brains and their bodies. Go check that out. 
please and thank you. If you'd like to check out some of my other videos on the top five poi tricks of various sorts, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to a playlist of those down in the description as well as up here on screen if you are watching on YouTube. Also, YouTube thinks that you might like this top video here because it's quite popular amongst other people viewing my channel, so maybe give that a look as well. Either way, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to get out and flow today, and I'll see you with a new video real soon. Peace.